how trained you are. There are police officers, many police officers, who own firearms that are scared out of their minds. They're so scared that they just shoot, you know, whenever they feel their, their selves in danger. And that's what is the most common defense for all police officers, is they always say, you know, I shot because I felt, um, I had fear for my life. So it's out of fear. So even though these people have possess a weapon that is that can kill in an instant, they still have this inner fear. And it makes no difference if you're a trained martial artist or a trained cage fighter, how good you you are in what you do. It all boils down to that inner fear that you have within. So these trained fighters, they fight out of fear. And that fear will never go away, no matter how trained you are, until you learn to transform your inner psychology, in which to really have no fear. And that really has nothing to do with your athletic ability. It's just an inner realization, a deep realization, that there is, that you don't have full control all over, over everything in life. You may have some form of control, but you don't have full control. You got to give up that control and see that you can't control everything. No matter how trained you are in fighting, no matter how many guns you have, your life could still be taken away in an instant. To increase the chances of survival, it's more about awareness more than anything. It's more about awareness than how fit you are. It's about being in tune and aware. And that, that, you know, being that way, you will increase your chances of survival. But beyond that, we are all... There is no way you could prevent death. Death is going to come for all of us in one way or another and you have to learn to accept this when you learn to accept this whenever it may come no matter if it comes tomorrow or 10 years or 50 years from now you have to just learn to accept that it will happen and once you learn to accept it and not look down and you know look down on it and criticize it you just accept it and you see the reality eventually you will have less and less fear and then when you have to the point where you have no fear then you will be able to live life fully in anything you do all right and you have to realize, even if you do get very talented and you can fight, you're one of the greatest fighters, you can't change the reality, the facts of life. Everybody ages, everybody gets old, everybody's body will deteriorate. So no matter how great you are, how hard you train you still can't fight the reality that you're gonna get older and your skills are gonna diminish so if your confidence level is based on your skill level then your confidence will, f will never be real it's always based on your talent so if you lose your talent then your confidence is gone and that's not real confidence. Real confidence is just forever. I mean, real confidence is something that can't be taken away from you. And that happens within the psychology. That has nothing to do with your outside. Your body image or how, how good you are or at what you do. That has nothing to do with it. Real confidence comes from within your mind an inner transformation, a realization that hey, you know, 
it doesn't matter if this person is better than me at this we are still equal it doesn't matter if I'm better than this person in that we are still equal as human beings and you will learn to respect everybody around you give them respect no matter if they have a gun or not no matter if they know martial arts or not no matter how talented they are or not you still respect them as a human being and you kinda promote that respect through the people you encounter now not everybody will be able to see eye to eye with you and there still will be people that try to disrespect you but that's gonna come no matter if you're talented or not and like I said even if you are more talented then it will probably come even stronger there will be more people that, that don't like you there will be more people that are jealous of you there will be more people that hate you you know so what it boils down to is it does not matter where your skill level is and whatever you do it's just a matter of just enjoying life and doing what you love to do and just having that confidence with from within and and giving up your illusion that you think that you have everything under your control not everything is under your control your life is not totally dependent on what you do you know no matter how trained you are no matter how many weapons you have death is still gonna come in one in one form of another if you want to increase increase your chances of survival then you simply learn to respect every human being everything around you try to live the most peaceful life as you can in this violent society put yourself in peaceful environments surround yourself with positive people and promote good don't exploit your your talents or your riches or whatever and make other people feel down and bad about themselves if you have a lot of money if you exploit that fact driving around in extremely expensive cars and wearing very fancy clothes and just showing off that you have a lot of money then you are decreasing your chances of survival you're increasing the chances of somebody trying to hurt you to get your money if you have talent and you could fight and you challenge everybody around you to show off your talents and you want to fight everybody around you to show how good you are at fighting then you are increasing your chances of death of dying early you're decreasing your chances of survival and that's just what it is when when people see that you have something that they want they will try to take it away from you if you have a lot of fame then more than likely you will end up needing some bodyguards because there's going to be people that want to take your life if you have no fame and you're no you know nobody really knows you then you have a better chance of living in this world because nobody was really paying attention to you you just go about your way you just live in life nobody's bothering you but when you got a lot of fame everybody's bothering you watching your every move every step so when I talk about increasing your chances of survival it has very little to do with how well you could punch a kick or what kind of gun you have and how accurate you could shoot it's more about the life that you live as a human being 